In another video, I showed how I updated the flight controller on my quadcopter. The new flight controller has many benefits, including uh, this uh, Bluetooth connection. However, as you can see circled in yellow, the original flight controller had a current sense module, which this flight controller lacks. What I've decided to do is to use one of the XT60 type connectors that has the built-in current sense module. And I'll show you in this video how I've wired that up and more importantly how to calibrate it. Here we can see how I've connected the current sensor to the flight controller. In this case the current sense pin was identified as CRT. With that in place we now have to decide how we're going to calibrate it. There are two main methods. One is using a current meter and here we can see that I've got such a device which I use in conjunction with my propeller thrust test rig and in this case it was indicating some 28 amps plus. However there's a lot of danger involved with a quadcopter with the props on. You'd have to tether it down as I show in another video. If something goes wrong you could be badly injured. So for me, I prefer a more empirical approach. What a great word, empirical. We can see it here in the Betaflight battery section. Fully charge the flight battery, fly it until around 50%. Then when you disarm the quad, I'll show you in the OSD how to set up seeing the value of the milliamp hours drawn according to the flight controller. Then you charge your flight pack and note the amount of milliamp hours that it's taken to charge it and then we can use a simple formula to calculate a scale factor. Let's see how that looks over in Betaflight. Here in Betaflight we can see in the OSD the setup of the post-flight statistics. What I'm interested in here is the used milliampere hours so that's going to show up on the display after the flight when it's disarmed. As described at the beginning in the power and battery section of beta flight you will find the amp meter configuration here we can see the scale factor and the offset normally the only thing you need to change is the scale factor the offset will stay at zero i've already been through the calibration procedure so that's now set to 20. let's just see how i arrived at that number for some reason best known to beta flight when i first looked at the scale factor for the amp meter it was set to 176. When I flew my first pack the resultant milliampere hours turned out to be 78 according to the OSD. However I knew it was much more than that and when I charged the pack it turned out to be 661 milliampere hours. So to work out the new scale we take that 176 and multiply it by 78 over 661 which gave me an initial value of 21. With the new factor in place I did another measurement. The result on the OSD for the second flight was 615 milliampere hours and when charged it resulted in 650. So to get our new scale factor this time we need to multiply that by 21 and that equals 20 which we saw I've now left set in the beta flight configuration. It should be noted that if you make any changes to your quadcopter for example you would put a different camera on there that's drawing a different amount of current any changes to the in-flight current mean that you should go through this procedure again. That's how I calibrated my current sensor.